I've been living in this bayou all my life. My family come here way, way back. It's a nice place to buy you. She can be peaceful and quiet, except when the hurricane come, when water and rain like you wouldn't believe. So we build a levee to keep the flood water out. Sometimes even the levee don't work. The last time a hurricane come through, these houses get eight or seven feet of water in them. But we fix that now. We building a new higher levee. That's my job. I work on the crew to build the levee. I built lots of levees before, but this one's gonna be different. Some fellows come down here and say they got a better way to do it. They're gonna use tensar. They joke and say they're gonna show us how to walk on water. They don't know this old bayou. This old bayou is tough. Soil conditions here are truly tough. Some would say impossible. More Say impossible. More water than soil. After a rain, a man can sink to his waist. Construction is almost impossible. In fact, it's common to lay 20 foot thicknesses of fill to achieve a crest elevation of 10 feet. A technique that can build a firm A technique that can build a firm foundation here will work anywhere, from the work anywhere, from the easiest to the most difficult sites, even those that were considered economically undevelopable. We came here to prove that tensar geogrids can meet the challenges of the toughest soil conditions. The first task we faced was building an access road from the old levee to the new levee site. The site had already been cleared of trees using a crane mounted on a wide track swamp buggy. The first morning, more than a dozen trucks full of river sand were backed up and waiting to dump their loads of fill for the access road. Everything was held up by the survey team. They were struggling to place the slope stakes for the haul road. After the rodman had taken 15 minutes to move through this muck, we suggested to the crew chief that he roll out some Tensar SS1 GeoGrid so the rodman could just walk out to place the stakes. The chief looked at us like he thought we had a few loose parts between the ears. After about another 20 minutes, and the rodman moving another 15 feet, the crew chief came over and asked us to show him our suggestion. Two men rolled out the grid, walking on it all the way. In less than three minutes, they covered five times the distance the rodman had taken a half hour to cover. And soon, everyone was out walking on the grid, even in street shoes, saying things like, this is amazing. Everyone that is, but this one big Cajun we call Bubba. No, that ain't right. We call him Big Bubba, because he weigh about as much as two regular people. Bubba say he's not walking on this grid. He say if he go out there, he sink so deep, they're never going to get him out. But this fellow from Tensar, he said, Bubba, you sink in, and I buy you the biggest steak in your island. All 300 pounds of Bubba was out on that grid in about two seconds. He walk on the edge. He jump up and down. Well, no matter what he do, Bubba don't sink. That tensor passed the bubble test. From that point on, it was easy. The sand trucks came in, and the first fill lifts were spread by a light dozer. We soaked the sand with water spray to assist in compaction. Then the loaded dump trucks rolled right out onto the site, with only about two feet of sand and a layer of SS1 geogrid between them and the muck. Muck which wouldn't support a man's weight. But I can't put it any better than the way Jim Jones, the job foreman, said it. We have put in uh, approximately uh, 50 trucks, uh, tandems, a day out here. Uh, we run the SS1 down. Uh, had no problems with uh, backing it up uh, on this muck and mire that we have. Uh, it has held up extremely well. I'm very pleased with what, uh, what I've seen so far. I think the stuff is amazing to me. Uh, I've had uh, a lot of people come out here and uh, see what's going on out here. And uh, when they've seen uh, the conditions of the construction going on and so forth, uh, they've been amazed with it. And uh, my people in the front office are extremely happy with what's going on. So Tensar Geogrids met the challenge. A layer of Geogrid covered by about two feet of compacted river sand has converted terrain too weak to support a man's weight into a firm base, strong enough to bear the load of bulldozers and repeated truck traffic. But you might wonder what other techniques have been tried in these conditions. Would a high-strength geotextile work as well? So we thought we'd see for ourselves. 
It took six men to position the fabric. Rolling it out straight was almost impossible. And in the really soft areas, the crew found themselves in a bit of difficulty. With GeoGrid, it was a different story. Only two men were needed, and it supported their weight with ease. You can imagine how difficult it would have been to try to sew the fabric under these conditions. On the actual levee construction, one man could position the grid, two roll it out and overlap it. Unlike a geotextile, no sewing is required. As the actual embankment for the levee was raised, Tensar SR geogrids were used to reinforce the embankment, allowing for steeper side slopes and a 40% reduction in levee width. The conventional design called for a 224 foot wide levee. By reinforcing with Tensar geogrids, the levee width was reduced to 136 feet. The result was a savings of 100,000 cubic yards of fill per running mile. The settlement of the geogrid reinforced levee has averaged less than 30% of what would be expected if it had been built by conventional techniques. So a higher levee and a better measure of flood protection is maintained with less labor, materials, and man hours. Parish officials and consulting engineers on the job have stated that the new reinforcing techniques made possible by Tensar geogrids will revolutionize levee construction. Not counting the savings and right-of-way requirements, fill savings alone have been estimated by the state to approach $700,000 per running mile of levee. But the advantages of Tensar geogrids apply to far more than embankment construction. They extend to a wide range of products. Near Mobile, Alabama, a bridge approach was rebuilt over marshland using Tensar geogrids to reinforce the embankment. A sand blanket was laid down over the grids in much the same way as was done on the levee. Significant savings were affected in both time and money at Cochrane Bridge. On this major highway in Tennessee, geogrids were used in the reconstruction of a concrete pavement that was failing after less than three years of service. Tensar geogrids were used in place of the conventional design increasing the structural strength of the base course by 55% and distributing the load over a much wider area to maximize the strength of the underlying soil, all at a lower cost than a conventional design. Put simply, Tensar geogrids are of tremendous value in any construction over soft soil. By distributing the load over a wider area, confining the fill, and improving compaction, Tensar geogrids speed construction saving as much as 50% of the labor cost and equipment time. Improve site access and reduce downtime. Reduce fill requirements. And allow the use in many cases of inexpensive locally available fills rather than precisely graded aggregates. And the Tensar engineered advantage applies over a broad range of construction, such as reinforcing steep slopes. On this job, we reconstructed a 90-foot high slope in a seismically sensitive area, giving the developer more usable land. In this case, we built a retaining wall beside a stream to support a parking lot above. The result was a stronger structure at 85% of the original estimated cost. Tensar geogrids and the design methodology made available by them have saved time, material, and money on thousands of jobs across North America and around the world. Our engineers are helping owners, developers, builders, and engineers and contractors solve their problems every day. Tensar geogrids are created to reinforce soil better than anything under the earth. The next time you're building with earth, stone, sand, or soil, call us. We can help. Let us put our engineered advantage to work for you. Wait, I guess these old bayou are not so tough after all. At least not so tough for the tensor. These folks around here are not gonna have so much to worry about next time the hurricane comes.